what is going on, people? So we did it, man. Uh, we picked up this 5.7 Gen 1 300, and we are taking it home. And this one is very, very clean. Don't mind my, my Burger King cup, but very clean, man. Uh, previous owner kept this thing in really good condition and I got a pretty decent deal on it a uh, little more than what I wanted to spend but um, I think it was worth as of right now it seemed like it was worth it now on the outside of the car which I'll show y'all once I get home but on the outside of the car there's two things there's absolutely two things that have to go immediately well, one have to go immediately. So the first thing is the grill. I don't know if you, I know you can't see it, but it is that God awful Rolls Royce grill. Um, previous owner had terrible taste, clearly. Terrible taste. You put that big ugly grill on the front of your car. Uh, so that's gotta go. Um, like literally as soon as I get home, I'm going to look up some grills so we, we can get that shit off of here. You know. Um, and the other thing, it's got one little dent at the bottom of the uh, passenger side front door uh, that we'll have to get fixed. But other than that, it's in really good condition, man. It runs really well. Very, very smooth. I'm uh, I'm actually impressed, man. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, this is my first time ever being in one of these. You know what I mean? Um, and it's a lot more pleasant than I thought. I was thinking since, you know, we, we're going back more than a decade from, um, you know, the, the V6 300 that we have, that it would be like antique in here and shit, man. But this is, this is actually not bad at all. Um, yeah, I, I, I like it, man. Um, really big plans, which we'll talk about that stuff whenever I get home. Uh, but yeah, man, we got it, bro. So let me get on down the road and then I'll, I'll cut this back on. You know. Here it is, man. In its little glory. Definitely uh, cleaner than I, you know, you would have thought it would be. But uh, yeah, this is the grill, man. This shit got to go. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, no, uh, you know, no offense to anybody that rocked that one, but. It looks bad to me. It's too much. It's too much. This is the side. These are the wheels the dude had on it. So, not bad in his current condition, man. Uh, we could work with that. Like, I could daily this and be comfortable. Not feel like super rushed to uh, replace it. But, but, yeah, you know, decent condition. So, I won't really feel rushed to have to do a bunch of stuff just to you know to make it neat but it's uh really clean man really clean my little one car seat up in here but uh yeah it's so clean man i was so surprised too I could work with those. We may we may get them a little bit bigger. As you hear that door squeaking, so we're gonna take care of that. Gotta get all this chrome off of here. All of it, every single piece of it has to go. Um, see, I was just thinking, like I got an actual Mopar intake for the 5.7 that I was gonna put on this one. I may just put it on here. Uh, Got it, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, man, this is it, bro. This is gonna be the big, big power build. Like, I wanna go all out with this thing. Forced induction, built internal, you know, forged internals, all that shit. So, we, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to make it happen, man. We are definitely gonna try to make it happen. I think the first, very first thing we're gonna do is get some sound out of it, though, because it is really quiet. Let me, let me start it. 
uh, guy even left like uh, cause he got like subs in here. He's got the base knob. They're not hooked up, but he actually left the subs in the trunk. Uh, shit, give me a second. Shit, my bad. I'm fumbling with all these keys, but really smooth. It's got 138,000 miles, I believe. Runs really good. AC blows straight icicles up in here. Like, uh, hey, you want to jump out of this joint, man? Runs good, man. Really, really quiet. Which I was also surprised by how quiet it is. take care of that in no time you know look at that if i were to rev this and the v6 at the same time like you you wouldn't even be able to hear this one currently but oh we gonna change that don't even worry about it but uh yeah man the five seven is here that build starts right now you know uh literally as soon as i get off of here we gotta go. We gotta go look for a grill for it. Uh, that's gonna be the first issue of business. And maybe this weekend we probably take it, go get these pipes off of here, open it up, let it make a little noise. You know, uh, Crown Vic is. Uh, you can see the Crown Vic it's still here, but I got some potential buyers just because it, it's gonna be too much in the driveway. So uh, we're gonna get rid of that thing at some point uh and no rush so it may just sit there for a while i may even still you know drive it around but yeah this is uh this is officially the new daily you know even when we we start the the actual power modding on the car it's still gonna be the daily um you know i'm trying to have at least 700 horsepower daily you know what I mean? So, as uh, we, 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 you know, we gonna, we gonna try to get it way up there. But a few little things on. Uh, I, I forgot to show you show you guys the uh, the dent that's on that door. You might have seen it when I showed the side. But this up here, you can see this is kind of peeling. Like um, he had an aftermarket screen in here. He took that out, kept his screen, and then he put the factory one back in here. So I don't know. If this started peeling once he pulled this out or if you know if it was already doing that I'm, I'm not sure but that's nothing we can we can take care of that really easily um yeah let me let me, let me show you guys this dent on this uh on this side over here yeah them doors are pretty squeaky yeah it's got that dent down there in the door uh, we'll take care of that. I don't. I don't know <laughs> how that could have happened, or you know, I don't, I don't care either. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take care of that. Get that chrome shit off of there. Like I probably, I'll leave the the C the 300 C badge, and um, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do with that chrome, man. But it's gotta go. You know, I'm from the new school i mean i'm from the old school but i'm new school when it comes to the cars all that chrome stuff we don't play none of that shit so uh yeah that's gotta go and uh the wheels uh, the wheels ain't that bad man they you know they okay for daily in it you know what i mean but we're gonna get that shit off of that too you know you know how we do man okay see i didn't even notice that that's nothing Other one is fine. Okay. But yeah, guys, that is the uh, 5.7 300, man. This is a 2009 also, so you were wondering. Uh, yeah, got the sunroof too. So that's all I got, man. Just wanted to give y'all that little update. Told y'all that this was gonna happen. 
this is still happening so stay tuned we got all that stuff coming up we're gonna we're we gonna start getting busy now you know because uh again this is the beginning stages for this so the, the muffler delete and all that shit and I want to say I want to race them, but that'd be so unfair. So we ain't gonna do that, but <laughs> y'all be easy, man. I will catch y'all on the next upload. You know.